Hi there, it's Dave, the founder and developer of the House Flipping Spreadsheet, and this is a quick video tutorial about the basics of using the Expense Tracker to track your project expenses for your projects. The Expense Tracker tool is the tool you'll use to track your actual project expenses on your project. You will input all of your project expenses into the Expense Tracker, including your purchase expense for purchasing the property, as well as your expenses for buying, holding, selling, financing, and repairing the property. The basic process for inputting an expense starts with inputting a brief description of the work that was performed on the project. Once you input your description of the work, you will select the payment type, which is how you paid for the expense. So this could be a check, a credit card, cash, PayPal, or any of the options below. Next, you'll start to categorize your expenses by your different expense accounts, by your vendors, and your expense categories. The first column is the expense account column where you'll select the expense account that you use to pay for the expense. And this will be your bank account, maybe your credit card account, or even an expense reimbursement account. You will see that the column is pre-populated with a drop-down menu of different account options. You can set up your expense accounts on the account setup page by clicking the gear icon at the top. Once you've set up and selected your expense accounts, you need to select the vendor that you paid the expense. Again, this vendor column is pre-populated with a drop-down menu of different vendor options. You can set up your vendors on the vendor setup page. The next column is where you'll categorize the expense type for each expense item. The expense categories are based upon your project budget categories that you set up for the project. This is where you'll set up your purchase price, your buying, holding, selling, and financing expenses, as well as your repair expenses. This is an important step because your selections will help track the amount that you've spent to date and compare it to your budgeted costs. The final step is to input your quantity and your unit price for the item. This quantity is then multiplied by your unit price to calculate your total expense amount for that item. Once you get done inputting your expenses, you can use the Project Budgeter tool to compare the amount that you've actually spent to date to your project budget and forecast your project's profitability. All of your project budget information and expense information are then reported in pre-built professional accounting reports that you can review, print, and share with your project team, partners, lenders, and accountants. And that's it. We thank you for watching our quick overview on the expense tracker. If you have any additional questions, feel free to shoot us an email or give us a call.